हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो आई हैव गॉट फॉर यू टुडे व्हाट इज कॉल्ड एज द व्हीट ईयर स्टिच सो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू डू द व्हीट ईयर स्टिच नाउ फॉर दैट आई हैव ड्रॉन दिस वर्टिकल लाइन हियर एंड आई एम गोइंग टू वर्क ऑन इट सो आई हैव कम आउट एट दिस पॉइंट आई एम गोइंग टू पुट द थ्रेड डाउन हियर ब्रिंग इट अप ऑन द साइड नाउ आई विल इंसर्ट इट बैक अगेन at this point and bring it out on the other side and bring it down again i'm putting it down again at the same base point so i have formed three stitches here like this now what i'm going to do next is i will bring the thread out at a distance here and i will put the needle from underneath this stitch underneath this stitch and also underneath this stitch so i'm putting it under all the three stitches without picking up any fabric so i have not picked up any fabric only put the thread underneath the three stitches that i put first and now i'm going to put the thread down again so this forms the first stitch of the bheet ear stitch right i'm going to work in a line like this so i'm calling this the first first stitch or this itself is one bheet ear stitch so you can do it detached also or you can do it in a full row so this is first uh, stitch in this uh, row that i'm going to make to continue further i'm going to bring the needle out here on this side put it at the base and bring it out on the other side again put it down here now i will bring it out here at some distance like before and again i will now pass the needle from under the first stitch the stitch here and the last one so again i have not picked up any fabric i have only passed the needle from below all the uh, stitches in the previous uh, row uh, the previous stitch i mean so again i'll show you again continuing further this again is an extremely easy stitch which a beginner can easily pick up in no time and where will you use it oops just give me a moment let me thread my needle again and come back okay so by mistake i had put it further i had to put it here actually so where you can use it is in case you are doing some scenery which has a uh, uh, which has a wheat field or something like that you can actually use these to depict the wheat you can do it in golden yellow color or you can use it as a border for any project or please excuse the sound in the background uh, suppose suppose you are doing a patchwork quilt where you have where you have sewn together different uh, fabric pieces then what you can do is you can do a row of these wheat ear stitches on the uh, joint where you have joined the two pieces you can do a line of the wheat ear stitch it will look very very nice in fact you can use any uh, stitch a herring bone uh, uh, line or uh, wheat ear line or something like that in case of that patchwork quilt that i said it looks really beautiful if possible i'll show you a sample of what i mean in my uh, some next video till then i hope you will use this stitch in some project of yours so now i think the method 
should be clear to you so after doing the first stitch all the continuation is going to be similar and here when you are passing the needle you have to pass it under all the three like you have to pass it under this first stitch then the chain stitch that has been formed in the middle and this stitch so here we are not picking up any fabric So this is what is called as a wheat ear stitch. I hope you like this stitch and I hope you will use it. So this is the wheat ear stitch. For more videos, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.